Hello and welcome to another episode of Plastic Addicts, where we talk nothing but toys, comics, movies, and pop culture. I'm Ryan, and this is my co-host, friend, and king of terrible jokes, Gavin. Ryan? Are you going to get us going? It's time to get things started. It's time to get things started on the most sensational, inspirational, celebrational, motivational. This is what we call a puppet I walk a walk it right into that one. Where do I even begin? Well, how about here? Greenville, Mississippi. Adjacent to the Mississippi River and with a population of less than 35,000, in 1936, Greenville became the birthplace of the puppet master himself, Jim Henson. Jim Henson was the godfather of modern puppeteering and puppet building. Hello there, everybody. Yes, my name is Old Paperface. He's the creator of such titles as Sesame Street, Fraggle Rock, The Dark Crystal, and the topic of today's episode, The Muppets. Stay here, we're it's safe. <laughs> Admittedly not as popular today as they once were, but show a picture of Kermit, Fozzie, or Miss Piggy to anyone and immediately they'll know who they are. To me, they're as iconic as the characters from The Wizard of Oz. Fitting that the Muppets starred in a version of Wizard of Oz, and today we are going to rank our top 8 things you may not have known about Jim Henson's The Muppets. Number 8. The first time that the Muppets ever took to the stage was in 1955 when they appeared on Jim Henson's live action puppet show, Sam and Friends. My next move will be your last, Black Bart. Just try it. Okay, here it comes. Mike Juan takes your bishop, checkmate. Oh, you got me, Marshal. The show was broadcast on NBC affiliate WRC-TV in Washington, D.C. from 1955 to 1961. Number seven. The prototype for Kermit the Frog was made out of cardboard and a fuzzy green material that Jim Henson cut from his own mother's coat. His eyes were two halves of Wacky Stacks, a 1970s line of toy plastic egg. When the manufacturer went out of business, Henson bought their entire stock so he'd have Muppet eyes forever. The Muppet character's frames are made out of flexible polyfoam, and the skin is made out of a synthetic material called Antron Fleece, which is furry, dyeable, and doesn't get fuzzballs. Number 6. Due to the fact that most people are right-handed, when a Muppet is operated, it appears to be left-handed. This is because the puppeteer is using their right hand to operate the mouth. Number 5. Miss Piggy was modeled after Peggy Lee. Her real name is Miss Piggy Lee in honor of her. The real life inspirations for characters don't stop there. Animal is Keith Moon, Statler and Waldorf are named after the hotels, Rizzo the Rat after Dustin Hoffman and Midnight Cowboy, I'm walking here, I'm walking here. and Fozzie was named after puppet builder Foz Fazakas, who, among other things, helped create the mechanisms that allowed Fozzie to wiggle his ears. Number 4. The essential character of Kermit the Frog has transcended movies and television. Kermit has addressed Congress and received an honorary doctorate from Southampton College. He can also be found in the Smithsonian, he spent 25 weeks on the top 90 list with Rainbow Connection and has an actual species of frog named after him. The bare-hearted glass frog from Costa Rica. The lovers, the dreamers, and me. Number three. While the Swedish chef was one of the casts and viewers' favorite characters, he even got his own breakfast cereal, he wasn't loved by many Swedes. They go far as to say that the fake language that Jim Henson created for the Muppet is annoying and culturally insensitive. And it actually sounds more like a Norwegian than somebody from Sweden. However, there is one Swede that doesn't seem to mind him. NHL goaltender and Swedish-born Eddie Lack has a picture of the Muppet painted on his mask. 
Number two. Each episode of The Muppet Show had a special guest, much like SNL. One such guest was Steve Martin. Unlike Saturday Night Live, The Muppet Show didn't air in front of a live audience. That is until Steve Martin's episode. Ordinarily, a laugh track was inserted during post. Look, Skywalker. Go along with this or I'll cut you in half. However, Steve performed for the puppeteers themselves, and their actual laughter was used instead of laugh track. See, I always fill up the balloons with words, and if they pop, they go, gosh darn it. <laughs> Number one. Miss Piggy has a really tragic past. I don't know how canon this is, but during each character's creation, they were given a backstory by their creator. In this case, Yoda himself, Frank Oz, created and voiced Miss Piggy. According to Oz, Piggy grew up on a farm, but left for the big city after witnessing her father die in a tractor accident. A girl's gotta do everything around here! And having a falling out with her mother. Yeesh. Just so we don't end this list on a down note, Here's an extra fun fact. The King of Calypso, Harry Belafonte, performed his iconic hit, The Banana Boat Song, or hey -oh, hey -oh. Eli, come and we won't go home. It was the first time he sang the song on television. And there you have it, eight facts you may not have known about Jim Henson's The Muppets. If you're interested in listening to a more in-depth review of the franchise, click on the link below to our other videos and please like and subscribe. Well, for Plastic Addicts, I'm Kevin Lacey. And I'm Ryan Call. We'll see you next time.